Hi, this is Monty Hipsch, the Google Guru, and I'm going to be speaking, um, oh, I think it's about the end of November in Sydney at Search Engine Boot Camp um, with Barry Smith and the rest of the crew, and I'm going to be talking about the introduction to Google AdWords 101, and I just thought I'd give you a preview of the content. It's a different approach to it, I think, a little bit. Um, I'm only using less than half my slides here just to give you a taste of what we're on. Uh, at the boot camp. The boot camp covers both AdWords, uh, pay-per-click search, as well as SEO uh, and social media. Very powerful one-day program. And in fact, I've, I've got a discount coupon for you that I'm going to put at the bottom of the video. So if you're interested in going, you can get, I think it's 50% off. Anyway, um, Aussie Web, uh, we're premier SME partner, Google AdWords partner, longest serving partner in Australia. Um, $7 million under management. The company's been around 21 years. So here we go. Um, so, when you're running a Google AdWords campaign, you're going to be driving traffic to your site and, and they're going to land on a page and often that page is not the home page because particularly if your company is a multiple service providing company or you're an e-commerce store, you're not going to drive traffic to the home page and make the person click or search again to find what they're looking for. So most likely they're going to be going to a page. If it's an e-commerce site, it's a sales page. You might be looking to download white papers and capture email addresses. Might be free trial for software, something like they do with uh, SurveyMonkey. Survey Monkey. Subscription to a newsletter, book an appointment if you're a doctor's surgery, call the business if you're a tradie, uh, tradesman and you're trying to get uh, you know, plumbing or electrical work. Just an in inquiry could be a uh, quote, or you might be trying to get them to, to watch your video. But the point is, you're going to take them to a page on your site, most likely not the home page. And you need to have a business goal for that page. That's the most important thing. So I get frustrated with uh, AdWords clients who say, I want to be found on the front page of Google, you know, for all my searches in number one position, or I'm worried about my bounce rate, or CTR is not high, and high enough. And I say, well, what's the, what's the goal of your AdWords campaign? And they can't tell me because it hasn't been defined and it needs to be defined. Traditionally, this is the way that Google AdWords campaigns are set up. Uh, you talk to the client, you, do, uh, you get some keyword searches from them, you put it into Google's, Google's keyword tool, you get more, you, you can do Google Instant, Google Complete to find out. You build this massive list of keywords, then in good uh, Google best practice, you clump them down into groups of not more than 10 or 20 and, uh, so that they're themed, and then you, you, you figure out where you're going to land them on the site. My suggestion is that this process is backwards. And what you really need to do is start with the page they're going to be entering your site from, from your AdWords campaign, and what is the business purpose of that site, what's the marketing purpose of that site, what's the page purpose of that site. And once you have that, you know what your, your purpose of the page you're going to, it's really easy to go backwards and write ad copy that supports the page goal, and then the keywords that support the AdWords copy. So as an AdWords practitioner, you actually need to control that process because you're going to get pushback from your clients if it turns out that they are being taken to a page and, and, and the goal's not being achieved. Now, if you're in charge of the keywords and you're in charge of the AdWords copy, but you don't have control over uh, refining the goal of the page that they're, they're going to, uh, you've given up more than half of the process because it's that conversion place where they're on the page that's important. So it needs to has the business goal, it needs to have a marketing goal, and then you've got a call to action on the website. And, and the text supports the page goal, the keywords support the ad goal. Get the order right. And, and when we work this way, we find out we start in the last place, but we finish first because we're delivering results. You might be excellent in your keyword research. You might be fantastic in the click-through rate and the quality score of your ad copy, only to find out that the page isn't converting. I'd rather the conversion goes up twice with the same traffic than double the traffic. So there you go. And, and the landing page elements, and you'll notice here when I do this, I'm, 
I'm showing you a mobile phone because we know that more than 50% of searches now on mobile devices you really need to optimize your AdWords campaign and, and, the, and the entry page uh, for mobile phones. So you want to limit the navigation so that they're not getting distracted. You don't want to have too many calls to action. You want to limit those. It's got to be mobile friendly, obviously, so that you can read it and, and, and navigate it. Um, and by definition, mobile friendly also means fast. That's what the AMP is there. It's a, just a technology of speed, but you've got to make sure the thing loads quickly. We're talking three to five seconds. You should use an explainer video optimized for mobile to begin with or at least a, a hero shot with uh, bullet points. You should have exhaustive tracking on your, on your page, uh, tracking for time on site, click to call, uh, directions, form filling out, all your goals. Should have some social proof there as well so that there's credibility. And then what I call the squint test, which is if you squint at the screen, is the most prominent element the thing you want them to do? Put it in a shopping cart, make the phone call, whatever the case may be. Anyway, this was just a quick snapshot. Uh, I'm covering this, obviously, in three or four times the duration at um, Boot Camp in Sydney. Uh, a link for a discount if you want to join us there is available. Hope you found this useful. Um, happy to chat at any time. Give me a call on our 1-300 number. Thank you very much, Monty Hipsch, the Guru Guru.